Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll learn to create an app inside the Django project. But first of all, let's understand the difference between a project and an app. A project is the entire web application that contains the configurations, the settings, and multiple apps. While an app is a modular component within the project, uh, which focuses on specific functionalities. So you can say that inside a project, you can create multiple applications. So in order to create an application, we need to use the following command, python manage.py start app and then the name of the app. So here we are considering my app. We already have discussed the purpose of manage.py. So let's use this command in order to create our first application in the project. So this time you can directly open your project, actual project folder. Inside the project you have the virtual environment and this is our my project. Select this folder. So your project folder, actual project has now been opened. Now open the terminal. Within the terminal now you have to type the command. The command is python manage.py start app and then the name of the app let's say my app so hit enter so you will have to wait for a little more time right so it's now created you can see that my app has been created and there are certain default directories and default files so let's discuss the importance of all this. Inside a Django app, you will typically find the first one is migrations directory. So what is the purpose of migrations? Whenever you make any changes to your model. So as we already know that model is used for a better interaction with the database. So any kind of changes that you are making in your model, migrations help you to propagate these changes to your database schema. So uh, we'll learn more about migrations when we will start with models in the upcoming lectures. The second file is init.py. So this file signifies that the directory it is residing is in a Python package. So this will allow you to import modules or components from within. The next one is admin.py. Very important. Uh, this is a file where you can register your models so that you can make them accessible through the Django admin interface. So we already have discussed in the first lecture regarding the Django admin interface. So if you want to provide this facility, then uh, this is important that you register your model inside the admin.py. Next one is apps.py. This file holds the application specific configurations. Then next one is model.py. This file defines the data models for your Django app and we already know that it is used for interaction with the database. Further we have test.py. This is the file where you write the test cases for your Django application. And the last one is views.py. So views are generally functions that handle the incoming HTTP requests and responses. We have discussed the importance of all these files and folders inside the Django app. In the upcoming lecture, we are going to start with actual practicals. We will start with views and URLs in the Django.